Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and we're going to start a new what we eat in a week video here. And this one is different because I just brought Sean, that's my husband, I just brought him home from the hospital yesterday afternoon. He spent six days and five nights in the hospital and we are all out of sorts now. Everything has been topsy-turvy for almost a week now. And so we um, don't have a plan, no plan. And uh, I have seven children, so I kind of like to plan things out as far as meals and schedules and all that stuff. So we're getting our feet back underneath us and we're starting this video with no plan. Actually, I'm gonna show you something real quick. Okay, this is what I typically live by. This is my schedule. This is my planner. I write things out as far as what's going on through the week, and I make up our menu, breakfast, lunches, and suppers for the week. And let me turn the page. There's this week. I have nothing. I have no schedule. I have no plan. Right here is today, and there's nothing. So. You're going to come along with us here, and we're going to see what happens, because I'm flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> here we go. All right, here's what we did for breakfast on day one of back home. Let's see, we'll look at David's plate here. These are just scrambled eggs with some cheese, some grated up cheese melted into it. And a sweet friend brought some food by yesterday evening for our supper. What, baby? She says, give me my food. Go ahead and give her a plate. She can have her plate. And uh, she brought some watermelon. So I have no bread. Normally I have homemade bread made up, and they can have toast with their eggs, but uh, Mama has not baked bread. So that's on the to-do list for today. They're having the watermelon with it. Um, okay, my plate down here is just a little bit different. Let me go around this way. And I've just got veggies with mine. And Abigail picked some veggies on hers, too. So and peppers and cucumbers. Cucumbers and peppers. And I've got some cherry tomatoes on mine. So this is breakfast. We'll see everybody back at lunchtime. Tell them bye. say <laughs> bye. That's bye with a mouthful. <laughs> All right, lunchtime and I did forget, I should have mentioned this, some people that are new to our channel might not even know at breakfast, you know, the eggs came from our farm and the peppers and the cucumbers and the tomatoes, those all came from our farm too. So we're eating a lot of the stuff that's coming in from the garden and just from the property. So I should have mentioned that. But lunchtime, lunchtime's good, good because Last night, we had a friend of ours bring some supper for our family with Daddy just getting home from the hospital. So that was a blessing. And we had leftovers for lunch today. So that's good, too. She made here. Andrews has the prettiest bowl, I think. It's a chicken chili. And he added sour cream and fresh cilantro, which she brought to doctor up those bowls, too, and cornbread. And then she brought the watermelon also, but we have uh, wiped out the watermelon. <laughs> so that was good stuff, wasn't it, guys? Okay, and Sean's going to come in and eat with us too, but he's still just running around in pajamas and taking naps through the day, still recovering, but he didn't really want to be on camera in pajamas. So <laughs> he is going to come and eat with us. But okay, we will see you all at lunch or supper time. Bye. <laughs> All right, we're doing an early supper tonight because some friends have blessed us with food. We've had such, such support from, um, from friends through Sean's hospitalization. So I'll show you what we're having here. Just a second. Um, did bake bread today, so it is done. I have broth going because I was totally out of bread and we were totally out of broth in this house. So we got that done. Sarah has basil drying in the dehydrator here. I got another batch of kombucha going today. And here's our easy peasy blessing of a supper. So a friend went into town and well, basically she said, just tell me what you would like from this restaurant. Give me your order. 
and I did went around and asked everybody what you would like and Sean still he's not ready to be on camera yet he's still just roaming the house laying in bed in pajamas uh, still recovering so he chose a big burger and fries David went with the burger and fries so did Samuel down there and Abigail picked a burger also off the kids menu and a strawberry lemonade and then um, Sarah and Andrew and Mama has a, a chicken Caesar salad and Anna picked chicken tenders and fries and so did Rebecca but she's not in her chair because she's asleep we are planning on opening gifts that you guys have sent us this evening too but uh, she's asleep but she'll wake up and she'll eat her chicken tenders here in a little bit so I guess at this point I will see you all tomorrow morning at breakfast this morning Samuel has made up a sausage scramble and that's where we get uh, ground turkey meat and we add a homemade sausage seasoning to it and cook up the meat scramble some eggs in with it the bread is um, or the well some have just plain old bread you didn't want yours toasted no nope, no nope. just plain old bread um, a lot of us have it toasted with butter and stuff on there this is a bread that I make with um, spelt and hard red wheat I grind it in the grain mill and I actually have a whole video on me making bread Andrew what type of jelly is it that you're violet jelly is what Andrew is putting on his bread this morning so yeah the eggs the bread the cantaloupe is from our garden Sarah brought that in recently from the garden. Okay, Sarah, you've got something extra. Is that your sourdough? Yes. Sourdough French toast mm -hmm. with maple syrup? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're having a feast this morning. Look at you. Well, Sarah, for Sarah has to go to the orthodontist this afternoon. So she may be sore at supper time tonight and may not be able to eat like she normally does. So... You're going to load it up this morning? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I'm going to be hungry. All right, guys. This is breakfast. Is she begging? No, she wanted some. Now she says she doesn't like it. Oh, okay. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and get things rolling. I will see. <laughs> I will try to remember to video at lunchtime. Today is a busy day. We have to run to the big town today to orthodontist. So... <laughs> I'll try to remember at lunchtime. Okay, the rest of the children ate lunch while I had Sarah at the orthodontist, but Sean is eating late here, and he's having, and they had homemade hamburger helper. That's what we call it. It's just basically hamburger helper, but we do it ourselves. So we brown up two pounds of ground beef, and cook up about five cups or so of that elbow macaroni and then when everything's all done you mix it together with some of this um, we get this off Amazon here it's just a cheese powder and we use a cup of the cheese powder with a cup of milk and uh, two sticks of butter that's 16 tablespoons of butter so it's a nice lunch that the children get excited about so, and I think Sean likes it too. Yeah. It's his first time back on camera. Yeah. He's slow. He's a little slow. But he's hungry. Yeah. Okay. I want to eat. Go ahead and eat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Supper is ready for tonight. We are having some steamed carrots. Uh, this is some Parmesan zucchini. And this is zucchini from our garden. Um, just cook it in the oven with a... Um, Parmesan that has some seasonings in it and like the last three minutes you switch it over to broil and that gets that nice golden Brown there on the zucchini. So we just had a little bit of zucchini there We're gonna have to ration that with everybody But there's plenty of carrots and then we have this is a pesto salmon and the pesto came from the basil in our garden 
and I'm hoping to do a video. We're going to make um, enough pesto to last us for a year until we get basil again growing next year. And Sarah and I are hoping to do a video and we'll put the recipe and everything in that video for the pesto that we make up. And then when everybody's finished with all that, we have watermelon for dessert tonight. So we're going to get ready and make up some plates. All right. Andrew's getting his milk. Everybody's getting in their seats. What? You want some milk? Andrew, can you get Rebecca some milk too, please? All right. Everybody's getting in their seats and we're going to get ready to pray and then eat. Here's what the plates look like there. Oh, and there is more salmon over there, right, Sarah? Yes. Yep. We have more salmon and... The zucchini's wiped out now, right? Yeah. But is there carrots still? Yes. Okay. So you can have seconds on the salmon and the carrots. And then, of course, there's watermelon, too. Mommy, eat that, Rebecca's not a fan of the salmon. <laughs> Abigail loves salmon. <laughs> there you go. There's your milk. Say thank you, Andrew. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I guess I will see everybody here in the morning at breakfast time. And you all are going to remind me, right? So I do not forget. Okay, in the morning. All right, getting everybody together for breakfast time. David's stirring up his oats here. These are soaked oats, so we soak them the night before, and uh, they soak all night long. There are raisins in this, so once they're cooked up in the morning, they have raisins, and then they'll add butter and maple syrup and cinnamon. Sometimes milk. Oh, sometimes milk, Andrew says. So, that's breakfast. It's a filling breakfast. We need to get the rest of the children in here. These um, two things here on the table, this is sourdough starter, because Sarah intends to make uh, sourdough tortillas today and sourdough English muffins today. That's on the to-do list. And I guess I'll see you guys back at lunchtime. And it's lunchtime. Rebecca could not wait to eat. Andrew made up grilled cheese sandwiches for everybody. And that's with the bread that, our homemade bread, yeah, is what he made it out of with Colby Jack cheese um, Mama is not having grilled cheese. This is some leftover rotisserie chicken that I had bought to have at the hospital when I was sitting there with Sean and made up some asparagus. So that's what their plates are looking like. Sarah doesn't eat the grilled cheese either, but she had last night's leftover uh, pesto salmon with some cantaloupe from our garden. Did you use the basil, Andrew, that Sarah had dehydrated? It's too rough. <laughs> okay, so we didn't use that, but Sarah's got more basil in the dehydrator. So, and you're making butter today, too. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is it for lunch. Grilled cheese and asparagus, and we'll be back for supper. Are you waving bye? Yeah? All right, supper time. Supper time tonight is a recipe out of a... Trilm Healthy Mama cookbook. It's called Trilm Healthy Table. And this meal is deconstructed stuffed peppers. So it's just a mix of ground beef with peppers. And those are peppers from our garden, right? And then um, tomatoes. And there's all kinds of yummy seasonings in there too. And everybody, they're having it over brown rice. I'm not. Mine is just just the stuffed pepper mixture there, but everybody else has brown rice on theirs. And then we're having more watermelon for dessert tonight. So that's our fancy, fancy supper. It's good stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning for breakfast. All right, I'm going to show you all breakfast this morning real quick. Even though I'm missing children, they're still doing animal chores outside but um, everything is set here for them to come inside and eat. Yesterday, Sarah made up six dozen pumpkin cream cheese muffins. This would be pumpkin from what we grew last year 
pureed and we've had it in Ziploc baggies in the freezer. She's really trying to go through all that pumpkin because we have more pumpkins coming in here in a couple months and we need that freezer space. So she made, I think she said she had made six total with no cream cheese because we have some children that prefer no cream cheese, but the vast majority of them have the cream cheese on top. And they're a beautiful muffin and they're so moist. So that'll be their breakfast this morning. I'm not having the muffins. Samuel made me um, some fried eggs and some bacon here. So that is my breakfast. And we do have a um, gathering, a Bible study gathering today. So extra muffins will be taken to the gathering as well. And I'll show you here in a little bit all the food that we're taking to that Bible study. All right, we're getting ready to head out the door. This is the, well, these are the things that we're taking to the Bible study today. And this is what we're taking as far as the pumpkin cream cheese muffins. Then there's a cucumber tomato salad with some red onions in there and, and salt. That's it. And the tomatoes and the cucumbers are from our garden. Um, we have a couple people at the Bible study that are gluten-free, but they can handle sourdough. So Sarah's taking some sourdough tortillas and some sourdough English muffins because uh, they're serving hot, oh, the panini grilled sandwich things, and um, the gluten-free people could use this in place of the bread for their sandwiches. And then seven-layer salad. This is just romaine lettuce, frozen peas, celery, green onions. We use the green onions here from our property. Uh, homemade mayonnaise, and then grated cheddar cheese, and then the turkey bacon is on top. So, and we used a fancy new gadget for grating up the cheese that we received from one of our viewers and it worked so, so well. So, made it a whole lot easier than doing it by hand. So, I won't be back for supper because we're eating both lunch and supper with the group today, but I will plan on seeing you guys tomorrow morning for breakfast. Cousin Anna looks so pretty today. So she's got, this is one of her uh, headband wrap things that a viewer sent. And then of course the pretty dress that Miss Claudia had sent too. So looking sharp. She thinks she looks like her friend Harper today is what we keep telling her. So she likes that she looks like Harper. <laughs> Gonna tell everybody bye. Bye. Okay, and I forgot to film breakfast. When I get out of the habit, when I miss a meal like we did yesterday since we were at the gathering, I uh, forget to pick the camera back up again. But breakfast was leftover bacon from that seven layer salad that was made up and fried eggs and leftover pumpkin cream cheese muffins. So that was a good, it was a nice breakfast, but lunch is salmon patties some leftover English muffins. These are sourdough English muffins. Um, I think Sarah uses the recipe from Farmhouse on Boone for the English muffins. And then we had some leftover asparagus and some leftover cucumber tomato salad from the gathering yesterday. So I think it's a pretty plate. Okay, if I remember, hopefully I remember, I'll be back for supper. All right, supper tonight is beef stroganoff with some noodles, some egg noodles, and some yummy mushroom sour cream. <laughs> You're noisy. And steamed broccoli on the side. So this is a family favorite. I think everybody's pretty happy that we're having stroganoff. We'll just need to get daddy in here. All right, we have a busy, busy day today. What are we doing today? We're going to go to our Grandma and Papa's. Grandma and Papa's house. So, we are having a breakfast that is a little on the quicker side. So, if you've watched some of our older videos, you'll know that we used to do Malto meal just about once a week. And children started grumbling a little bit that they didn't care for the Malto meal as much. 
So I've purchased cream of barley from Azure Standard and they're liking this better. So cream of barley is what is for breakfast this morning and we just doctor it up similar to what we did Malto meal. There's what butter, cinnamon, maple syrup. Do you put cream in it or milk in it at all? No. No. But kind of the same thing we do to oats too. And they like it. So I'm also I'm measuring everyone's feet this morning. We have a viewer offering to knit the family slipper, little slipper socks. So I've been having the ruler out and measuring feet this morning. So Okay, we're going to eat. Again, today's going to be a little different because we're going on the big trip to Grandma and Papa's house. What, are you done? Yeah. That was fast. So, she's got her pretty town clothes on. Let me see your pretty dress. Oh, and look at her hair. So pretty. Okay, guys, they say, Mama, stop talking. Let us pray and eat. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, I will show you. You say bye. Bye. Here, I'm going to show everybody. Mama's not having this. Are you done? No? You're done. Okay, she's done. I'll, sh <laughs> I'll show you my uh, eggs and bacon that, sh that Sam was cooking up for me. You're a mess. Okay, and Anna, you have big plans for lunchtime today. You're in charge of lunch, aren't you? What are you going to do? Make sandwiches and chips. Because she's our big time sandwich maker whenever we're going on our trips. So she does a good job at that. And then supper time is... I can't remember. I don't know either because Grandma's feeding us supper tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that's why we don't know. <laughs> but we'll come back for lunchtime and see Anna's famous sandwiches. All right, Anna. You getting our lunch ready? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to eat ah with Abigail? Yeah. E ah means color or draw. There you go. Okay, Sam's got the little snacky chips. Just set them on the floor there, Sam, and she can pick out which ones everybody's going to want. So, we've got our store bread. That I went ahead and bought some bread from the store. The sliced cheese came from Sam's Club because that's the best deal I found on the sliced cheese. Um, some of the greens Sarah has pulled out of the garden. A lot of them are bolting, aren't they, Sarah? Yes. Yeah, so we're down to just kind of a little bit here and there. Here, I'm going to come behind you here, Anna. We've got This was the meat that uh, I had gotten on sale and stocked up on. And it's been kept in the freezer here until we needed it. Mayonnaise, tomato from the garden. Let me see. And then Anna goes through and she marks everybody's. So let's see. And then we're going to put little chippies in there too. She just makes up little sandwiches. She said Andrew's was the prettiest, so I need to show Andrew's. Because Andrew likes all the... He likes all the lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise and stuff on there. So, Give me Ida. And that's what we're gonna take on the road with Give us Ida. on the Give trip today. Ida. You can eat it later for lunchtime. Okay. okay. You can eat ah with Abigail. Okay, boys are coming in from taking care of Daisy the cow. Is she all good? Okay. Anna's getting sandwiches made up for you guys. And then the chippies. We get um, the last time I found the best price at Walmart on the big 28 uh, baggy box that they have. I was getting them on Aldi before, but Walmart's been a better deal. And we'll be set for lunch. And we'll hit the road. Say bye. 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 All right. Breakfast the next day. Um, we ended up, hi baby, we ended up, uh, my mom ended us, ended up feeding us both lunch and supper yesterday, so we have our sandwiches left over for lunch, but breakfast is omelets, just cheese omelets with some biscuits, Sarah had pulled out some biscuits that were in the freezer that she had made a while back, 
uh, because we got home late, late, late last night. So <laughs> we always stay too long visiting. So biscuits, and then the children can pick whether they want butter or this is a violet jelly on there. So cheese omelets. Sarah's having some, what kind of water kefir? Grape. Grape, grape, kefir. grape water kefir. And then she has some peach water kefir over here for me. And that is a probiotic drink that she makes up. We make up both kombucha and water kefir. Um, the boys tend to like the kombucha better. Uh, Sarah prefers the water kefir, and I like both. So, <laughs> and I'm having the very last of that uh, bacon with mine instead of a biscuit. Oh, baby, you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Wah, 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 bye. Your wah, wah. Okay, children are starting to come in. I told them breakfast is ready, so they'll start filing in here. We'll eat and get the rest of our day going. Okay, I'm going to show you why I did not film lunchtime today. You all already know we were having sandwiches. The sandwiches that we did not eat yesterday. So, we had little twin baby goats born today. And everybody was outside watching Mama labor, and we were able to watch both little babies be born. So everyone ate in shifts today, and I did not have the camera inside with me to uh, film sandwiches at lunch because the camera was out here trying to film little babies being born. So you missed out on the sandwiches, but you get to see sweet, sweet little goat babies. So, uh, it's okay, right? <laughs> so. Okay, and let's see. Let me show you. We had one born five days ago. That's the mama goat right here. And there's her little five-day-old baby here. So this is Darlene, the baby goat. And it, she will prance around. She's a cute little thing. So this is Darlene. She's five days old. And then the babies over here are boy and girl. These are Duke and Duchess. All of our goats have a D name. So Duke is here on the left. He's going into nurse. And Duchess has the little white uh, spot on her forehead. And they're cuties. So sorry, no sandwiches. All right, supper tonight is a good one. It is lamb. This was a leg of lamb from uh, one of our sheep that we raised here on our property. Uh, green beans, these are from the store. I did not open up a jar of our home canned green beans. and But these are our potatoes. Uh, they're just buttered parsley potatoes there. And those were from the garden. And then Sarah's got dessert over here, which is cantaloupe. And this is from our garden now, too. So Andrew has, um, like, <laughs> half of the sheep laying on his plate. <laughs> Are you going to gnaw on that? Yeah. <laughs> True. Okay, that will go in the bone bucket, though, to make broth whenever we're done. That would be the leg of the lamb right there. Do you have meat? Uh, a little bit. Do you have meat? Mm -hmm. Are you going to get meat? Okay. <laughs> I do feed my children more than bones. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, tomorrow morning, we'll be back. All right. Breakfast this morning is yogurt. And this is yogurt from our cow Daisy from her milk and then there's some blueberries in there and those are the fresh ones that I got on sale recently so and there's honey in there did you put granola on there uh no I the only granola I had left had the raisins in it and I didn't want to you like the it. ones without raisins is better for that so we need to make more granola yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh the boys are having some of that peach water kefir which is a probiotic drink and it looks like Mama's having some down there too. Is mine mm -hmm. coconut? No, your, 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 yours is peach, but none. But I didn't get any peaches in mine. Boys, the boys got my peaches. 
And Sarah's water keeper is the grape still. The grape right there. It's pretty. So Anna's having egg, but uh, Rebecca is swiping it. So we may have to make Anna more egg. And I'm about to have something really cool. Your Wawa, yes. I'm about to have something, or maybe about to have something really cool. I think we're going to cook up some quail eggs, or try to. And I'll go film that next. All right, before I get started trying to cook these things, which here they are, in their cute little carton. Isn't that cute? It goes in there. Look how little they are. I hope you can tell with my hand. But a cute little carton. So we were given these quail eggs from a friend. Oh, I think I just busted one of the shells. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to have to be more careful with it. Yikes. Um, these are so little, it's hard to handle them. Okay, we were given these. The lady that, um, well, she's a friend of mine, that brought the food um, right after Sean got out of the hospital, she also raises quail, and she gifted us with this dozen quail eggs, and I've never had quail eggs before, but I wanted to show you guys, if I can get one out of here, one-handed, okay, got it, I wanted to show you guys the difference between a quail egg, little bitty, and a chicken egg, and a duck egg, the duck egg is larger, and they're always messy because ducks are messy and muddy. But difference in size and color and everything else. So I'm going to try to figure out how to uh, cook, crack, do all the things with quail eggs here. And we'll see. I might fail. <laughs> we're going to see. Okay. We're going to try something. So I had a friend tell me that I can't just, you know, go against the counter and tap, 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 that quail eggs don't work that way. That I need to use a knife on the shell, which uh, is kind of intimidating to me. But this one I had already cracked there while I was filming here before, so I'm going to attempt the tap, tap, tap and see what happens. And then if I make a total mess, then I'll try the knife trick. You guys get to learn with me here. Okay. I'm going to drop it first. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. I did a little tap tap. The shell is very brittle. Those are the membranes thick though. The membrane is thicker. Okay. Let me do that because I've got a little piece of shell in there. Okay. Let, I'm just going to try to rip the membrane maybe. They're so tiny. So apparently there's a special tool for doing... Oh, there it goes. There you go. Look at that. That's cute. Okay, I'm going to open this up because it almost looks kind of blue on the inside. You see that? Oh, yeah. Does it show up on camera? Uh -huh. So that is neat. Okay, I think I'm going to have little bitty fried quail eggs for breakfast this morning. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> and we'll see what they taste like. But so I can tell somebody I, I'm gonna eat I ate a dozen eggs this morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One down. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off because I think it's gonna take me a little bit to get all my little dozen in here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try tap tapping. And get them out. I wonder if I do this. There we go. There we go. Uh -uh. I'm smart. I'm learning. Okay. They're so tiny. Ah! Yeah, now I'm wondering what this special tool is. Yeah. And I'm just gonna pop that membrane. What's it doing? 
Look, it's a little bitty egg, baby. Look, how little. We put it in the skillet. Number two. Oh, look at it frying up. I turned it off, but it's still so hot. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Okay, go ahead and pause, and I'll get them all in there. Hold on, I'll hold you in a minute. I'll get them all in there, and then come back, and you can see what it looks like. Eat peach. Can I eat peach? You want to eat peach? Yeah. Hmm. Can you go ask Anna? A peach, please. All right. Twelve dozen, or twelve dozen. One dozen, twelve eggs in the skillet. So, they're cute. It takes a little long to do them all, so the first ones are already hardened up pretty good, and the last ones are just getting started. So, look how little this one is. That is oh, oh, that is so cute. I'm going to make a mess. Let's see. Oh, see? Saved it. Saved it. It's all good. All right. I'll give it a taste test here in a little bit when they're done and see if any children want to try quail eggs too. So, what? Where's your peach? Anna's got one. Me got one. Yeah. Do you love peaches? Okay. Get, get the baby her peach. All right. A dozen little quail eggs on a plate. They actually cooked up I mean, really similar to regular chicken eggs, and the yolks didn't bust easily. They were pretty hearty, I felt like, and they cooked up fast, you know, because they're so small. So we are going to see who wants to try a quail egg. David does. They may be a little hot. We can just pick one. Is it too hot? To tell me what you think. Different than a chicken egg? The same? What do you think? White tastes the same. The white tastes the same. Quail eggs are finger foods? They are, okay. They are just. Whoa! I'm gonna knock something down. They are just tiny little chicken eggs. They taste like tiny little chicken eggs. Okay. Who else? I or can just, take one. Yeah, try it out. I don't want to eat your breakfast, though. No, I've got lots of other eggs I can make. I want you guys, this is your chance to try quail eggs. This is it. You can try mm. Abigail, do you want to try a quail egg? Go get her. Tastes like chicken. Just like chicken. Tastes like chicken eggs. Yep. Tastes <laughs> exactly like uh, little chicken eggs. Awesome! Awesome. All right. Abigail's probably going to come in here and try it too, and I'll try one also. Okay. Anna's going to show us what she had, what she is having for lunch today. It's a piece of bread. Has. Um, some banana and some peanut butter in it. You didn't do jelly, just banana and peanut butter? Yeah. <laughs> peanut butter and banana sandwiches. <laughs> so we're using the bread, our homemade bread. This is made from spelt and hard red wheat that I grind up in my grain mill. And I actually have a video on that. I guess I can link that in the description box below. So we just slice up some of our homemade bread. We've got some peanut butter. This is some homemade violet jelly from the little purple flowers that grow in the springtime. And then we have some store-bought sugar-free strawberry jam. And when that's gone, I think, is that an apricot one? Yeah, that's an apricot one that we get from Azure Standard there too. Because some like jelly, some like jam, some like no jelly jam at all and just peanut butter and banana so okay some of the children are having this and then we have some leftovers going too for others and i'll show you those once they're ready because anna wants to eat yeah okay we'll be back okay sarah made up her own little special lunch and it's pretty pretty so you're going to tell us what you made okay um 
So we have some leftover egg noodles from beef shogunoff. So I made a roux um, from the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. I pulled it out of a, another recipe. And I put a bit of fresh cilantro in there. And um, then I put the egg noodles in there. And then I crumbled up some leftover salmon patty. Put that on top with some leftover broccoli. And then put a little more fresh cilantro. Yeah, so it looks good. So yeah, I don't know if the, the actual cream sauce shows up very well in there, but it's mixed in there amongst the egg noodles. That's a good way to use up some leftovers. <laughs> yeah, it's it pretty. Looks good. It smells amazing. And I like pretty food. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we still have to get mama leftovers going, but you go ahead and eat. <laughs> I almost forgot to show my mama plate. So we heated up leftovers. And so I'm having leftover salmon patty, leftover green beans, and some brown rice there too. So this is the mama lunch for today. All right, working on supper. We've got scrambled eggs going and some sausage gravy. And Sarah already has the biscuits ready to go. We're just waiting on the other things to get done. And I am about to grab, oh, I've got a whole bunch of things to go outside. Marshmallows and chocolates and graham crackers. Because what are we going to do? You want crackers? Yeah. We'll have s'mores tonight. You want to help me carry them outside? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, supper time. Biscuits and gravy. Homemade biscuits that Sarah made. Rebecca's already eaten. <laughs> scrambled eggs from our chickens uh i made the gravy from our milk from our daisy daisy the cow so this is a good supper we actually we have a whole video where sarah and i made our homemade biscuits and gravy was it a couple months ago we'll link it in the description box below we'll link it down there but we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go do s'mores mama and nobody wants s'mores. <laughs> what, baby? All gone. Do you want more? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get the baby some more food. <laughs> it's so gross. Is it a good night for s'mores? Yeah. Yeah. Your belly's not too full from biscuits and gravy. I don't have room for s'mores in my belly. <laughs> Lisa told us to eat some sort of junk food. Just enjoy <laughs> food. Here we are. <laughs> Who did what? Lisa. Okay. Told us to eat just fun food. Oh. Just junk food. And just have some fun. So here we are. We're having <laughs> s'mores. Oh, and one of the, yeah, Lisa sharing life stories with you. Uh, she has a YouTube channel. And in one of the comments, she told us that uh, she wanted to see the children eating, what was it, Doritos or pizza? Or Fritos, is that what it was? Fritos and Doritos. Well, Lisa, we're doing s'mores. It's not exactly what you'd said, but s'mores are a fun food. We got the ducks out here with us. I hope you guys can see this. It's nice and cool out here. It's very peaceful out here tonight. We don't get too many August evenings that are nice and peaceful and cool like this. Abigail, make sure nobody sits on your log with the froggy under it. We'll have squished froggy. Okay, guys, that is the end of our What We Eat in a Week video for this month. And I think ending it with s'mores isn't too bad. They seem to like it at least. So, guys, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. 
and make sure you are subscribed if you are not already. And if you could tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead, it would really help our family's channel grow. Thank you so much, you guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Ozark Family Homestead.